All right, everybody, welcome back to another Kimchi Rednecks. Today we are going outside. Yay! Uh, which is kind of interesting because Melissa just went back to the States to visit her family this week. And our other friends decided, hey, we're going to go take a road trip. You want to go? So here we are. I'm waiting on them to show up. And if you can tell by the ground behind me back here, it's nice and rainy today. So it's the perfect day to go on a trip somewhere. So at the moment, I'm not even actually sure where they're planning on going. So we'll get the details on the way. In case you were wondering what apartment buildings in Korea look like, they come in small cities. Which is really kind of true. They usually have their own department stores and parking garages and, well, not department stores, convenience stores, grocery stores, that sort of thing. Each, each of these little development things is like its own small town. But where are we going today, Cord? We are going to Yangyang. We are going up to a temple in Yangyang, which is on the east coast, and that is up near, uh, up kind of towards the border with the north. Ooh. Should be a good time as long as traffic isn't ridiculously stupid, which uh, it may be. Well, it is, it is a holiday weekend, so That's true. who knows. So apparently in Korea, they expect you to be able to read those little stickers, which I'm going to try and zoom in on and post, that they've stuck to the wall next to the road. Because, yeah, totally. If you park here illegally, you'll be towed. <laughs> While we experience Korea through traffic. Yes, because everyone should sit and stare at traffic. Here's another example of some of these lovely road signs they expect you to read. For all those transfixed for an update, we're, what, two, two and a half hours into the ride? We're on the expressway doing 25 kilometers an hour. Yep. Yep. But there's nice mountains back there. And there's a tower and things up ahead. There's a town over there that we can't really see because of that wall. One of my favorite things on the interstate or the interchange or whatever they call it in Korea express stations or service stations where you can get all the stuffs it's like a truck stop only cooler it's like a tna travel center okay. kind of actually yeah so here we are at moonmark service area now we just have to find a place to park Yikes. All right, Korean service centers. We got the main center station here. There's a couple restaurants, restrooms. There's a Krispy Kreme over there. But uh, we are gonna go find, I think there was like a Dunkin' Donuts down there and a Letteria or something. So we're gonna go find some coffee and a bite to eat. So down here, we've got a Loteria, which is kind of the Korean answer to a McDonald's. And then uh, over this way, we got a Tom and Tom's coffee. So I think I've got a plan of attack. All right, so I have been to the place. I've gotten my my little stash here. There we go. I've gotten myself some Lateria food and a Cafe Bene drink. Now, this place is super busy right now. Today's a holiday and people are traveling and this place is jam packed. So we didn't bother to take any uh, any pictures inside because, well, it was just crowded. So anyway, time to go. All right, we're hoping as we get around this bend here, we'll get some of this view. There we go. There, there we go. Let's see what we get here. Ah, there we go. The mist on the mountains. The Misty Mountains. Hey, there we go. Zeppelin. Where's Bottom? You can be Smog if I'm can be Gollum. <laughs> I want to be Gimli. <laughs> so some more scenery shot, and uh, we're on hour four <laughs> of our trip to Yang Yang. <laughs> Never travel on Korean holidays, because Koreans love to travel on Korean holidays. Why? 
are they traveling on follow? Stay I home. Know that. <laughs> stay, so stay home so we can travel. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, a topic I was mentioning earlier, just because I thought it was amusing, if you can see it coming up on the right here, it is kilometer marker 88.0. They put one of those things every one-tenth of a kilometer. So if my South Kakalaki educational system math is correct, I think it's like 1.35 kilometers to a mile, which means for every one mile marker they use in the States, these guys use 13 tenth of a kilometer markers. That is way too much signage. Yep. But at least if you ever have a terrible emergency, you know exactly where you are. They know where you are within 100 meters. Yeah, 100 kilometers an hour. That's not happening. We have no idea why, guys, but apparently there's some colored like rainbowy lights in the tunnel here. Maybe they got halfway through it and got bored. It's like a rave. <laughs> it had, it, there'd have to be some flashing and some Eurobeat going on for no, that's that. True. And oh look, more traffic. So as we're sneaking up on our destination, it's starting to get a little more rainy. Well, cool mountain views, if you can see between the trees. And here we are everybody, our first glimpses of the thriving metropolis of Yang Yang. I've heard people come here for like scuba diving and surfing and such. So that could possibly be what they do here. Uh, other than that, I don't know. Other than gross ah, stuff, they got fields. The highway. There we go. Look at the sign. Oh, it's an Asian highway. Well, is it Asian Highway 6 or is it Highway number 7? Highway, highway 7, but yeah, if you look closely, it's got the whole... It says AH6. <laughs> and it's got the... Let's go to uh, Kazakhstan, Russia, or something like that on it. Oh, yeah, as we get closer, we can read that. Korea, Russia, Hassan, China, Kazakhstan, Russia... That's an interesting sign. This is the same road that if you drive it back to the south ways, it'll take you to Penis Park. Ooh, Penis Park. Everybody needs that. So we've got a little area, I guess, down the road from the temple or whatnot. So this is actually a pretty nice looking little, reminds me of small town vibes. Guess we're looking for parking or something. Continuous speed Should bumps take us ahead. To, uh, to the parking spot. Ah, sweet. All right, so it's a little rainy outside, but uh, there's the ocean. We have found the East Coast. There's some nice trees over there. There's a boat. <laughs> so there's some, some rainy coastline. There's a light tower or something over there. Water, if you can actually see it from here, is actually looking pretty clear for ocean water. You know, I'm from the East Coast. I'm used to it being muddy brown. You can actually see the, the bottom of the cove there. It's a little blue-green out, out in the ocean there. All right, so we appear to be at Naxansa Temple. Well, it's starting to rain pretty good here. This stuff's supposed to be water resistant, so we're gonna test it out. <laughs> There are a noticeable amount of people out here, even though it's in the rain. Koreans like to go to temples on holidays for some reason. I'm assuming that means please don't be an asshole. All right, so this I've seen before. You get a little slip that you have to pay for, you write your little prayers or whatever on it, and then they hang it up on the, the rail here. And like nature's supposed to get it or something. I'm not exactly sure on the logistics of it, but it's kind of cool. I did one once in Tokyo and prayed for my luggage that got lost to arrive and it showed up the next day. It's kind of useful. So, Korean temples always have these awesome colors. 
done all over them. So we're gonna try and get up here and look off the viewpoint and see what's going on. It's that view right there of the waves crashing up on the rocks with the uh, the cool tree right there. I could have that as a screensaver. I could watch that for hours. <laughs> so everybody, this is level. There's the treetops, and here's this road that we're walking down. Please use guardrail for your own safety. You know, in Korea, you don't generally see guardrail signs. That means, uh, please don't die. <laughs> Here's a uh, nice view of that little platform I was just at from the other side. That is, that is a cool shot right there. I like that. The only thing would be cooler is if I could get it from back over there so I could get the waves down there. Everybody remember, do not climbing. I love signs that um, <laughs> have bad yeah, English on them. Too. By the way, hashtag not sponsored. Fessies, good for good for temple walks on rainy days. Since I'm over here waiting on them, we've got the dragon and the turtle. I will have to, I'm sure that's somehow significant. Uh, I am not up on Buddhist culture, so I'll have to look that up. All right, so we are heading back to the car. We are significantly moister than we started, and we have to get back, and hopefully, the, uh, the trip back doesn't take as long. So, we'll see you there. All right, so it is almost eight o'clock and I'm finally home. Things learned, don't travel on Korean holidays. At least don't drive. Oh boy, that was a mess. Second off, navigation apps will do weird things. For something that was a relatively straight line, the navigation app sent us the first time down south and then up on an expressway. But on the way back, it sent us up towards Seoul and then back down south. So. We probably covered about 30% more of Korea than we needed to um, for that route. But we're back. I've seen a new temple. I got some great views of the ocean. Nice stormy uh, stormy waves. And uh, that's traveling in Korea, guys. I'm tired. I got to go feed the dogs. Like, subscribe, do the internet thing. We'll see y'all next time.